Hey there, all you wonderful YouTubers! Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disguise 4: Promise Revisited. The last set of character demos we did were the uh, post-game characters. Everyone from uh, blah, 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 blah. everyone from Tyrant Valvatorez up to Krachevskoy. In this episode, we are going to take on the DLC characters. All these guys were DLC way back in the uh, PS3 version of the game, but. Uh, lucky for all of us PS Vita owners, a few as we are, uh, these are free with the game. So let's go check them out. First up, not you. We have Adele, the main character of Disgaea 2. The hero who saved Veldheim from a crisis, hot-blooded, righteous, and honest. As you can see, he likes his fists and swords, learning uh, six of each plus the tier nine fist skill. His uh, his aptitudes very clearly favor fists. He's the only Disgaea protagonist up until uh, Kilia in, in five to prefer fists over swords. As you can see. He can, uh, he can punch up the two tiles away with this one ability, and fair and square gives him an ex some extra damage when battling one-on-one. -on -one. Kind of like a measles ability, but a little more limited. As for his other abilities, we have Man of Passion. Which is the uh, counterpart to a couple of other abilities we've seen, uh, namely Fenric's, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of a set of three, maybe four, though. So uh, that is what we have going on here. Let's show off uh, Adele's uh, native skills. Alright, let's see here. Not you. Not you either. I won't lose. Adele, uh... You hear that voice acting? Uh, better savor it, because it's gone, gone in Disguise 5. Probably due to union issues, what do I, but what do I know? Crimson Flame, uh, you can see two of them are Fire Elemental and one is not. Wow, <laughs> that's uh, that's definitely different from what he did in Disguise 2. Also, hi, uh, you guys are so gonna get owned. Soaring Shadow, B class. Oh hey, that was a mix of uh, of different uh, attack and fist skill animations in Disgaea 2. Pretty cool throwback there, Adele. I like it. I won't lose. Maybe it's just a martial arts style that's popular in Veldheim. Who knows? Vulcan Blaze. Pretty cool. Alright, that being said, uh, let's get some guys out here to uh, wreck the rest of these fools. And move on to the next character. The next character is uh, Adele's maybe girlfriend, Rosalind, also known as Overlord Xenon. Queen Glitter increased stats of adjacent male units in campaign HQ by 10%, so a little different from Artina's Angel Glitter, but still pretty good. Queen Hope increased critical rate of adjacent allies. That's, uh, 
That's pretty neat. <clears throat> Rosalind learns six gun skills, six ice spells, and four star spells. As you can uh, kind of see by her crazy spell list. Uh, she was not a magic user in uh, Disgaea 2, so I'm a little surprised. Anyway. I forget what I was doing just now. So yeah, uh, her aptitudes uh, appear to favor guns. Uh, magic to a slightly lesser extent. I might not... Well, no. Yeah, don't give her a bow. <laughs> she doesn't even learn bow skills, so what am I talking about? So yeah, uh, pretty good resistance, pretty good hit. Uh, maybe she'd make an okay healer. Her other ability is Queen Orders. Increase magic range of adjacent allies in the, uh, in the campaign HQ. So yeah, uh... Her abilities are all about the uh, campaign HQ, which is pretty interesting. You don't see a lot of abilities like that. Let's show off her unique skills. I keep coming up with a different name for those every time. Rose Thorns. Uh, Pretty much uh, what Rosalind is famous for, just sh shooting things off with a giant gun. It is the way of a noble, I guess. <laughs> Crest Roses. Ice type, C class. This is new. Four leaf clover. Yeah, you, you gotta like the uh, the little spinning animation she does on her gun. <laughs> also, very Disgaea too. Rose liberation. Very flashy special for a very powerful Overlord. Here I go. Come on, Mal. You can't even get over there. Fine. Just uh, end turn and let him kill himself on your counter. Boom. Alright. Next up. We have Mal, the protagonist of Disguise 3. <clears throat> Violent Courage is the uh, same ability he has always had. 3% stat boost per enemy unit on the map. As for his uh, as for his weapon fortes, he's uh, he's got four of them. Uh, he learns four each of the sword, spear, and axe skills, and he learns four tiers of star spells. So uh, give him whatever; he's good at all of it. Sorry about that. I had to get some water. Uh, checking out his other ability, we have Stargazing, which is the uh, third in the uh, in the quartet of four uh, element boosting abilities. Pretty cool. Let's go see what he's capable of. My guess, exactly the same as what he did in Disguise Three, but uh, we gotta make sure, right? Okay. 
Let's see. Evil Transformation looks different. But the other two look the same. Oh wait, this is this is definitely different. This is that wasn't a that was not Blast Finger. <laughs> just kind of a I was just kind of looking at a ranges and stuff. That was definitely something different. All right. Shine Beam, Star Element. That is not something I would want to run into in a Toho. <laughs> Finally, Evil Transformation. Inflicts Deprave, it's C-Class Star Type. Let's see what it does. It's the Fusion Lab! <laughs> A very uh, volatile prototype. <laughs> okay, that's pretty. That's pretty funny. Yeah, kind of a shame we don't get to see his uh, his kaiju form, but whatever. Just blast away and move on to the next guy. The next guy is a character we are uh, pretty familiar with. Overlord Prie, the protagonist of uh, La Pucelle Tactics. Extra turn gives her another turn when you defeat an enemy with a normal attack. Uh, could come in handy. Forced counter forces the target to counterattack, so uh, you know she's very in your face about her uh, attacks. Power charge raises her attack potential and decreases her defense potential as long as she has it equipped. Could perhaps come in handy to uh, to get out a little bit more. Uh, attack power out of her levels. You never know. She magic changes to an axe, so uh, let's check out her skills. First up, spinning baton. That's pretty cool. <coughs> also, speaking of Priye, uh, I discovered earlier that she uh, also has uh, alternate voice options. If you reincarnate her, you can uh, give her a different uh, set of voice, uh, a different set of quotes, rather. Requiem Eterno. Uh, very much a shout out to Lock and Cell here with the uh, with the square of the uh, evil energy. Finally, we have Holy Breaker. Wall kick crazy, aren't we, Priye? <laughs> Thank you. 
pretty cool. But that, that is not all the skills she has to offer, so let's magic change her with Tyrant Val. Or somebody. Let's magic change her with Mal, just to shake things up. As you can see, her, her axe form is just the uh, baton she likes so much. Create change! See, uh, Prie is uh, very much a uh, player of trine. <laughs> Finally, Overlord's Hell. Oh, there, buddy. Maybe you uh, should have used the dividing driver before trying that move. <laughs> you kind of wiped out a chunk of the earth there. Just saying. All right, enough Galgaigar. Let's move on to Evil Pink. She's one of the evil rangers who uh, decided to just uh, be one of Axel's groupies. She debuted in the PSP version of this guy too. She magic changes to a fist. As for her abilities, she's got Vanishing Cat, which, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. So she always gets a back attack, apparently. Meowie Land boosts her stats when there's a bunch of kitty allies. And Cat Block, decreased damage taken by 50% if you're higher up than your attacker. That's pretty handy. She, uh, like Prie, she definitely favors physical monster weapons. Do either of them have abilities I did not pay attention to? Well, Prie didn't, but Pink does. She has Playing Dead. Survive a critical hit by going to sleep. It's a, uh, it's a skill I have seen before. But yeah, the way this works is, uh, if you are about to get KO'd by an attack, Pink survives with 1 HP and she falls asleep. <coughs> so if you're lucky enough to not have her be attacked again, you can just kind of heal her, wake her up, and get on with business. It's pretty cool. Of course, uh, I wouldn't recommend, a. Uh, putting that up against Ball. <laughs> that might be problematic. <coughs> I don't know. Let's go! Kitty, kitty, kitty. She's got four skills. Uh, first up, Death Smack. I believe her skill set is uh, is common to all Death Sabers, which is the uh, type of kitty she is. Also, wow, uh, we just those guys just kind of got wrecked. Deadly bats. Where do you get off having vampire skills, Pink? Seriously. Death Wing, which uh, kind of has another unwieldy area of effect, but whatever, we're gonna check it out. Pretty sweet. I'm just gonna say that about all these skills, huh? <laughs> There's not much more to be said than pretty sweet. Death Scratcher. <laughs> so, 
So, uh, since I uh, did not actually take a close look at her uh, skill ranges here, before we magic change her, let's check those out. E class, 6 range, D class, 4 range, D class, and C class. Okay. Not bad, I guess. Let's magic change her with Mal again. Not you. Kitty paw power. Death paws. Kitty explosion. You never have too much kitty power. That's what I say. And ooh, a double. Excuse me. A double S attack. Deadly Moon Blow. Kitty Claw Kick. That's uh, that's pretty impressive there. <laughs> Can never have too many uh, transformation based specials, that's what I say. Alright, let's uh, heal everybody and move on to the next character. The next character is Main Hero B. Uh, he and slash or she is an angel who uh, teamed up with Axel because they knew they were going to get beaten up a lot. As for their skills, <clears throat> let's see here, six bow skills, six heal spells, and uh, whatever the heck is going on here. Let's see, Angel Protection uh, protects allies from non-elemental damage, Angel Potion uh, Spreads healing item effects to adjacent allies. That's nice, I guess. Let's see, uh, very well rounded uh, aptitudes there. So, uh, just give them whatever, I guess, you know? It's gonna be a thing either way. Let's check the other abilities Angel Blessings cure abnormalities when using healing magic. So, uh, status effects, in other words. Angel's Flight. Increase heal effect by the number of panels moved times 10%. That seems like it could be handy, especially considering uh, in Disgaea 2 at least, angels were uh, flying type units. Let's see if they are here. Definitely a flying type. Alright, masochist power. Okay, just an uh just an all around healing spell. Which I mean I guess that's why I use his res. Painful arrow. He's ripping off Flan. <clears throat> M Injection. <laughs> and it heals you. I mean, okay, I guess. Let's uh, let's pretend this never happened. Sixth character for today is Prism Red. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Prism Red is a Prism Ranger, uh, pretty traditionally a joke character. Let's see if he does any better. 
friends. Ooh, that is a pretty high aptitude. Oh yeah, Prism Red is, uh, once again, a uh, human-type character. He learns six sword skills and six gun skills, as well as the Braveheart spell. Hot-blooded with a strong sense of justice. Let's see, increased stats by 5% times the number of dispatched evil area allies. That could come in handy. Battle order, increase attack of adjacent ally units by 10%. So, uh, a slight buff. Uh, not as big as some other buffs, but it's uh, any ally, not just any male or female ally. <coughs> His other ability, Prism Emblem. Increase stats if seven allies with Prism Emblem are dispatched. I don't know how much. But I do not care to find out. <laughs> Let's send him into battle and see what's up. Burning Fire! Prism Dynamite! F-Class with a pretty high range. Burning fire. Oh, okay, for a second I thought they were gonna be a combining mecha. <laughs> I guess they are not that kind of ranger. Prism Justice! Okay, now you have to scream, Gah! You got me! D-Class, evidently. There's some giant horns on those bikes. Yep, there's their, uh, there's their Prism Beam. Pretty standard class, uh, all your colors combined attack. Nothing special going on here. Yes, hi, Prinny. Prism Legend, a C class skill. Double rainbow all the way across the netherworld! Or is that triple? I can't tell. <laughs> that was, uh, that was definitely something. Also, uh, kind of reminiscent of Disgaea 5 with their, uh, squad attacks. You know, it's a thing. It's, uh, not you. Not you! You're not even in this video, Gig. Alright, finally, we have uh, everybody's favorite mascot. Everybody's favorite silent mascot, in fact. Play now! Uh, as you can see, she learns uh, three tiers each of the fire, ice, and wind spells. She also learns uh, six gun spells plus the tier nine. Gun spells, yes, exactly. The mascot of Haradaya. She's been making various appearances lately. Idle Assist. Stats of all allies on the map increased by 10%. That, uh, actually is very handy. Adjacent Catapult. Move range increased by 1 times the number of ally adjacent ally units. That's nice. Uh, you can see from her hit and speed, she is definitely a talented gun user. But, what is her other ability? Fist Survival. Recover 50% of the consumed SP when defeating an enemy with a skill. I should mention that, uh, that on the PS3 you had to do some kind of PvP mode to earn plain air. That is not the case on the Vita. She just shows up with all the other DLC characters. <coughs> so, let's take her into battle and see what she can do. Ugh. Beat 
What was that? Did we just hear her speak? Crazy Town. Decide Shooter. It's a... Uh, F Class. It's all around her. Oh, D Decide Shooter. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's a very goofy misreading. Next up, Usagi of the Dead. It's a D class, let's see what's up. whole bunch of undead rabbit plushes. And a shark cannon, because why the heck not? <laughs> That's just Funky Tron. Usagi Slash, a very long range attack, even more so than Rune Dimension. Kaboo! <clears throat> so yeah, that was pretty cool. And that was half of the DLC characters. Uh, join me next time when we uh, show off the other half of them. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye for now.